Hello everyone and welcome to the solution to the nanotechnology exercise using sets and dictionaries. Here's a quick recap of the problem statement. For part one, we have an input file shaped like this that has comment lines, blank lines, names of molecules separated by colons from their formulas. The formulas are atom star count and there might be several with a dot. If there's no count, we assume one. We want to read in a file like that and produce a dictionary whose keys are the names of the molecules and whose values are a dictionary showing us how many atoms of each kind there are in the molecule. So let's switch over to our terminal window. As always, we're going to use a shell window in yellow and we're going to use an editor window in white. I'm going to be editing a file called nano.py. So let's have another look at that data file. Okay, we need to read something that skips comments and blank lines and then pulls up molecules and builds them into something. So I'm going to start off by saying uh, def read, let's switch back here, it's to be called read molecules. Okay, takes a reader and then it says result is an empty dictionary for line in reader if line.strip length of is zero, so there's nothing, it's a blank line once we strip away white space, then just go around the loop one more time. Continue on to the next line. If line dot starts with the hash sign, then continue. Uh, can we simplify this already? Sure, we could say line equals line dot strip, and then if not line, i.e. there's no characters left, or line dot starts with hash sign, we're going to continue on to the next line. Okay, that's got rid of the things we can ignore. Now we're assuming that everything's a data line in this format where we've got the molecule, a colon, and then the atom and count fields. So I'm going to say that um, name and formula is uh, parse molecule from line and then I'm going to assert that name is not in result um, already seen this one. Gonna fail if the program sees a molecule twice in one file. And already seen this one isn't a particularly meaningful variable uh, error message, so I'm going to say already seen uh, name. So this will just halt the program with an error as soon as we see a molecule the second or subsequent time in one file. Now once we're done that check we can say result of name equals formula. Now I haven't decided what parse molecule is yet. I know it's got to take a line like this and strip it into fields, but right now this is as much code as I want in one function, so I am going to say uh, read molecules from a molecule file returning a dictionary of name formula pairs. There's the doc string, and down here I'm going to say uh, something like, um, well, let's just read from standard input to start. That will be simplest. So import the system library at the top and then print read molecules from sys.studin is going to be my main program. Now, right now, if I run this as python nano.py input from molecules.mol, it gets me an error because invalid syntax, right. I need to put a percentage sign in here because what I'm doing is taking this format string inside quotes and formatting it with the value of the variable name to replace percentage s. So I had a syntax error. Now let's run again and it says parse molecules not defined. Well I knew that but at least it seems to be calling my read molecules. So now let's come back here and say parse molecule from text get a single molecule description from a text string. Um, fix me describe format. I'll come back and describe the format in a moment for the benefit of whoever's maintain, maintaining this code once I'm done. Okay, looking at the format though, it's going to be a colon that separates the name from the molecule description. Okay, so I'm going to say that name and formula uh, is text.split on colon, name equals name.strip, formula equals formula.strip. 
to get rid of any leading or trailing white space, because if we look, there can be white space either after or before the colon. There can even be white space before and after the colon. So good, I've now got the name out. Now I need to split the formula into uh, atom count pairs. So I will say pairs equals formula dot split on the dot character, because that's what we're using to separate atoms from counts. Okay, and right away I see that I can combine it like that. Pairs is take the formula string, strip off the white space, and split it on dots. So I've now got a list of pairs. That's if the line was formatted properly. And now I need to figure out how to get their counts. And I'm going to say uh, formula text. The actual formula is parse formula on pairs and return name and formula. Okay, so here I'm splitting out the name, I'm getting all the pairs, and then I'm going to parse those pairs. That seems like a, a mix up of levels. I'm getting pairs here, and then what I'm doing here is passing a list of pairs into parse formula. I don't think I like that. How about instead I say uh, for p in pairs, um, atom count equals parse pair of that pair, and then formula is initially an empty dictionary, formula of atom equals count. Okay, so this feels like I'm now working at uniform levels. All the string splitting is happening up here, I'm parsing individual atom pairs in something called parse pair, and here I can say assert atom not in formula, uh, already seen atom percent s in text percent s atom and text. So if you ever give me a formula in which one atom appears twice or more times, then I will also fail with an assertion. So I'm checking the validity of my input as I go along. Okay, now I need to write something called parse pair, but before I do that, let's just do a quick check. Parse pair is not defined. Okay, at least my syntax is correct. Def parse pair on pair. Um, parse a an atom count pair. If the count is missing, assume that the count value is one. So, fields is pair dot split on the star character. Uh, actually, we can make this simpler. If star not in pair, return pair and one. So if there's no star character, then there's just, looking back at our file, if there's no star character, then we've just got silver or nitrogen or sodium, so we return that symbol and one. Otherwise, uh, atom and count is pair dot split on star and count is int of count and return atom and count. Okay, that looks simple enough. Let's see what happens when we run it. If star not in pair, yes, I do need to make that a string because that's a character that we're checking for. Run this again, none. Okay, we're returning atom and count parse molecule is returning name formula, read molecules isn't returning its result. We didn't get that far in our previous runs, so it will now return result. Okay, switch back, run that. Sodium chloride is sodium 1, chlorine 1. Silver nitrate is oxygen 3, uh, silver 1, nitrogen 3, chlorine is Cl2. It looks like we're done this one. Okay, that's part 1 down.